The children in these karate clubs are from neighboring villages, one Arab, one Jewish, in northern Israel. It takes less than 10 minutes to walk from one village to the other, but the two wouldn't usually have any contact. It's their shared love of martial arts that brings them together, through Budo for Peace. The goal of Budo for Peace is to bring children who are in conflict areas uh, to understand about respect, tolerance, non-violence, and break down the barriers of ignorance and fear. Hakim understands the paradox of fighting for peace. But as a sixth degree black belt and twice karate world championship silver medalist, he says the martial arts are ideally suited to promoting coexistence. The important thing to understand about traditional martial arts, it's, it's not just a sport. There's discipline involved. There's a deep philosophy about respect Bringing different sectors together is a challenge. Ali Khalil is a Muslim karate instructor. He comes to neighboring Mitzpe Netufa three times a week to teach. In fact, thanks to Budo for Peace, interaction between the villages is growing. I didn't expect that we were going to become such good friends with the teacher, Ali, that we were going to sit in his living room, that he and his family were going to sit in our sukkah, um, that I was going to end up teaching kids in his village. And that just happened very naturally. It's very normal. We're neighbors. Budo for Peace runs 20 clubs in Israel, with hundreds of Arab and Jewish children participating, and interest is on the rise. Last year, Ali introduced me to a joint Danian instructor with 400 students. He's willing to join Buddha for Peace. It's also possible in Egypt uh, and in other countries. Hakim aims to develop Buddha for Peace throughout the region. And having seen how effectively it works in Israel, he's sure it can help promote harmony across borders as well.